am back um, from three weeks away in North Fork of Long Island. Um, it was a really fun time with our family, just having that coastal life and enjoying it. Um, and I haven't done a video on here in so long, and I thought it would be fun to finally share something with you guys. Um, I've never done a shopping haul and showed you what I purchased. Um, and I did some shopping while I was there and I thought, might as well show you what I got. Um, and hopefully it will inspire you and give you some new ideas. And yeah, I thought it'd be fun. So um, outside of Greenport, New York, which is where we stayed, um, it's a super cute town. Lots of little towns in this area and little shopping, little boutiques to shop from. And then outside of that, about 20, about 30 minutes away is Riverhead, New York, and they have tons of outlets, amazing outlets to shop from. West Elm, Pottery Barn, Lone Sonoma, Restoration Hardware, then lots of clothing stores. So I had fun in the clothing stores, but I also had a lot of fun shopping um, just at stores like Home Sense and Home Goods that are there, just all that fun suburban shopping. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I purchased. All right, first up, went to Home Sense. Oh my gosh, I've only been to Home Sense one other time in New Jersey. I've never been to the one out here in Riverhead, but it is huge and it is like heaven for someone who loves decorating, like moi. So, a couple of things that I purchased. I purchased a few things actually from Home Sense. Um, I ended up getting this pretty blanket. It, it has a Pendleton vibe to it. Um, it's super soft, it feels really cozy. I think it's gonna be amazing for fall and winter. And I just like the tassels. It's a sort of an off-white, almost like an oatmeal -y color with dark navy stripes. Um, all across it and I just thought that it was super pretty especially for $19.99 so here you go here's the blanket maybe I should just cozy up with it right now while I share the rest of the things that I purchased because it just felt really nice in my lap okay so purchased this from home since $19.99 a lot cheaper than a Pendleton blanket I can guarantee you all right so got this Super pretty art. Sorry about the reflection that you're seeing right here, but um, I really like the natural frame. This is almost like a shadow box in a way. It's got sort of like just a simple squiggly art on almost like a linen. It's not linen, but it has that oatmeal sort of flax look to it. And I just like the simplicity of it. I think it'd be pretty in a kitchen. It's so neutral, I could put it anywhere. It'd be nice on like a nightstand, just, just above it or even propped up. It's just a super pretty piece of art for $7.99. I was like, you're coming home with me. So I got that. Home Sense as well. Also from Home Sense, I picked up a cute apron. Gray and white checkered, sort of plaid. You can see that. Um, $9.99. Yep, $9.99. I thought this would be pretty hanging on the hook, one of the hooks in our kitchen. It's functional, but it also serves as like a functional decor. Um, so I think that will look really pretty, even though I'm not a cook. Actually, that's not a secret. I'm really not a cook, and everybody knows that. But I can fake it. I'm not a cute apron. I can fake it. Okay, plus this side. What else did I get from Home Sense? Oh, I picked, picked up this cute, take that sticker off. Picked up this cute little olive oil glass Ooh, almost dropped it glass container it's so much prettier than the olive oil containers you get in the store so I can just put all of our olive oil in here and leave it out on the counter rather than having to put it away because it's not cute now it can be cute so you can put your vinaigrette whatever you could put in here but I just thought it was pretty isn't it cute it's got like a almost like a pint of blue to it so I really liked I really liked that um, also for the kitchen and from Home Sense, um, I just picked up some cute, simple um, measuring spoons. They just have like, we need some more. And these have like an industrial vibe to them. They look like they're from like a restaurant. So I liked the way that they looked. And they're $4.99. I also picked up a few brushes in the wooden family because I like the natural touch that they add. And they're functional, but they look Cute, more cute than just like having like a plastic, you know, scrubby on your kitchen sink. So I got that from from um, Home Sense as well as this one. I like to put these in just a little glass dish beside the sink, and it just is just quick and easy. 
little scrub action for your dirty dishes. Okay, that's from Home Sense. Then we made a little trip into South Hold, like mid, like middle of our trip, I think the second week that we were there. And there's an amazing store. It's called the White Flower Farmhouse. Um, so we picked up a few things. This store is a dream. To think that I only came home with these two little items is, you know, sad when you see all the other things that are in the store that I just want to take all of that home with me. Um, but there's only so much room in my suitcase and in the back of our car and I knew that we were early in our trip so I didn't want to go crazy. So I ended up just getting another wooden scrubber. This is just a good one for bottle for like bottles, skinny glasses, champagne glasses, whatever it might be. I think this is super cute and you can hang it next to your sink and it looks cute. Cute and functional. And then I also just got a mesh produce bag. Let me take this out of the wrapper so that you can see it. You've seen these everywhere I'm sure. But a cute produce bag. Also functional but also looks cute hanging on display when you're not using it. So easy to grab off the wall before you go to the grocery store and tote your groceries around. Okay, so that's from White Flower Farmhouse. Check them out. Amazing stuff. Beautiful Instagram. Um, yeah, you'll like their stuff. Okay, so that is that for, oh, I did pick this up from another little store in Green Fort. I don't remember the name of it. It starts with an L. I got a jade roller. So good for just um, rolling on your skin for inflammation, to help with aging, whatever. And it just feels really good and it's cool and it's actual jade. So I bought one in the past from like Home Goods or somewhere like that, not real jade. And it faded and I knew right away, I was like, this is not the real thing. But this one is, it's heavy too. Um, this will come in handy as well. Not decorative though, but still pretty. Okay, this is also from a store in Greenport, a little boutique called The Weathered Barn. Really great store, such cool stuff. Um, and I think it's all sort of locally made um, with local artisans. And I picked up a little dough bowl. You can tell it's just someone's locally crafted it um, and carved it out. And then I picked up some rocks that I got from the beach in Long Island because they're not really, not really sandy beaches necessarily in the North Fork. These are, there's a lot of rock beaches. So I picked up a bunch of rocks in the White family and I boiled them in water so they get all that stinky sea food smell, fishy smell out of it. And, um, and it looks pretty in the double. And I can put a pretty little candle here in the middle, sit on your coffee table, on your dining table, wherever it might be. And it's cute. It's natural, brings a little bit of nature inside. And um, it just looks cute. Okay, I went thrifting as well. I went to, there's a couple of thrift stores in Greenport. Um, I got this one from one of the thrift stores for five bucks. It's just a pretty milk glass, almost like a little pedestal bowl. I like the look of it, especially for $5. It'll look pretty on the kitchen counter um, or on our kitchen shelves with some fruit or even pine cones in the fall. Um, you can literally do anything with it, but I just thought the look of it was cute. It's not overly sized. I don't know if you can tell, look at the size of my hands. It's not big. And I just thought it was really cute. And I love milk glass. I love the look of it, especially for $5. Okay. This is what I picked up from the outlets. I got this from the West Elm Outlet. Now I got a lot from the outlets, but more in the clothes department and shoes department. I already got something on this. Shoot, must have happened in transit. Anyhow, this is from the West Elm Outlet. A good old white bed blanket for $39, regular $130. So that makes you feel really good when you save that kind of money. Um, I love the texture of it. As you can see, it's like a pattern, but not a pattern. It's got a little texture added to it, and it's hard to go wrong with just a good white blanket for your bed. Adds a little extra layer um, to look pretty, but also feel good and to feel cozy. So really like that. And then I think the final piece that I purchased for the home was this. I brought this huge thing home from HomeSense. This is actually just sort of a, 
a woven lantern, like hanging lantern. It has a hanger and it has a glass cylinder here inside. I'm gonna take it out. It's wrapped so it didn't get broken. Um, so this is just sort of a clear glass cylinder. But I'm not gonna use it as a lantern. I'm actually gonna turn this into a pendant light to hang over our dining table. So I'm going to be taking off this bit. I've been looking for something like this for long, for a while. I've been on the hunt for either a basket to turn into a hanging light or an actual fixture. Um, if I found something that was within budget that wasn't expensive. And this was $39, definitely in budget. And I'm just gonna take this top part off. And then I'm looking for a way of sort of rigging it up um, to make it into a hanging light fixture. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take like a crossbar from like a lamp and attach it across here. And then I'm gonna take a battery operated um, puck light using that magic light trick that you see all over Instagram that Nesting with Grace started. Um, if you've not followed her, she's a good one to look at. She's got some really pretty ideas, but this magic light trick is super handy and you don't have to have electrical wiring in your ceiling in order to do it. And so I will be changing this out and I can do a video on that to show you guys um, the process to show you how to do it if you wanna do something like that for yourself. So I'm just gonna be hanging it from probably some sort of um, cording, attaching it to the ceiling in a, um, in a hook and we'll have of our dining table and it's gonna look so pretty. It has sort of a Serena and Lily vibe, but without the Serena and Lily cost. So, um, that is that. I don't think I'm forgetting anything, but if I am, it's okay. You saw plenty. And I hope that it's inspired you to, you know, thrift, um, to find bargains and to cut prices where you can. So I love me an outlet and I love turning something into something that is not supposed to be and getting those thrifted finds to make, I feel like old with new makes an interesting story in your home. So I found some really, and also bringing that nature, that bit of nature in. The rocks are free. You know, everything that I got, nothing was a fortune and that makes me happy. So I'm gonna get this stuff put away. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you've not subscribed, please do so. You can click the little bell to be notified the next time I do a video. And yeah, and I'm also on Instagram at sweet underscore domicile. So I'll see you next time. Bye guys.